Hey y'all, Gregor here. This is a little bit different. Pulse Glazer is on vacation, so I am stepping in for this video. Hope y'all are doing well. The first deck that we have today is Toxic Negative. This list comes from TLSG. I was playing it a bit last night and it was disgusting some of the plays I got with this thing. Let's get into it. All right, so for the replacements, well, first off, let's go to uh, TLSG. If you're not following TLSG, you absolutely should be. Puts out some amazing lists. Uh, go subscribe to him too. Check out his Twitter. But the replacement options for Cassandra Nova, you could put in Wolfsbane, Red Guardian, Hope Summers, or Copycat. For Sage, you could use the same above options. Uh, well, Spain, I think of as kind of the less good Sage. Uh, you do need the rest of the cards to work well for this. So turn by turn snapping for this deck. Turn one, you're going to float your energy. Turn two, you're going to play either Ravona or Psylocke. Preferably Ravona if negative is in hand. On turn three, you are going to Mr. Negative if you can. If not, you can do... Wong if you played Psylocke, and then Magic if you don't have any of those cards. You want to get Magic out, you do want that turn 7 if possible. On turn 4, you can do Magic, you can do Wong, or you can do Cassandra Nova. Cassandra Nova, if your opponent is playing RSM, try to do that early. Or you could hold it onto it and do Wong into Cassandra Nova for a really, really big play if they're playing RSM. Turn 5, Jane Foster. Get all of those flipped cards once you've played negative into your hand. If no Jane Foster, you can Wong and then you uh, go into Mystique for your next turn. That would be if you have a turn seven. On turn six, so this is uh, just your win con you're going for would be to do Wong, Mystique, Sage into Taskmaster. That is the play line. Get a ridiculously big Sage and then you Taskmaster last turn. You win two lanes. You win you win the game. A very big play if you can get negative and Jane Foster. Those are your snap conditions. I always like to say that negative is a high cube rate card, not necessarily a high win rate card. So retreat often if you don't get that line. But uh, this deck is nasty. Very fun. Give it a go. If you have negative and Jane Foster in hand, snap. That is a snap for you. The list one more time. So you have Psylocke, Ravona, Renslayer, Cassandra, Nova, Ironheart, Mystique, Sage, Magic, Mr. Negative, Wong, Iron Man, Taskmaster, and Jane Foster's Thor. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, do all the things to boost the video and show it to more people. Thank you all for watching. There is a season pass giveaway going on, it looks like. So Snap Judgments Alliances, we are currently running 13 alliances and counting. Dang. We'll do more as needed. Priority is given to Patreon members, even free ones to join. Uh, go to patreon.com forward slash Snap Judgments. The only thing you must do is join the Discord and grab the Seeking Alliance role. Link in the description. That's it. You can join. I hope to see you there. Try out a tournament, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Next up, we have this beautiful list from uh, two of the champions, uh, one king, the other being Chase, two wonderful humans uh, from the Snap community. So this is S-ranked discard. It runs Meek, Blade, Morbius, Swarm, Colleen, Wing, Moon Knight, Lady Sif, Dracula, Gwenpool, Prexima, Midnight, Modok, and Apocalypse. I was playing it on stream last night. I usually don't do well with discard. I was doing pretty well with this. The replacements, uh, okay, first check out the king. It was his birthday yesterday. Go to www.twitch.tv forward slash Tucker. You will not be disappointed. So your play lines, uh, sorry. The replacement options, if you don't have uh, Meek here. If you don't have Meek, you can go Nebula. If you don't have Gwenpool, you can go Silver Samurai. And if you don't have Proxima Midnight, you can go Stature. The kind of building like... Uh, more of like a Black Bolt-esque deck. Modok, Dracula, and Morbius are hard requirements in this deck. Turn by turn snapping. Turn one, you want to either do Meek or Blade if you have something good to discard. Apoc, Proxima, Proxima Midnight, and Swarm are the cards that you want to try and hit. Turn two, you want to either Morb or Colleen if Swarm is in hand. You don't want Blade because Colleen will hit Blade if you have Blade in hand. Turn three, Lady Sif, if Apoc is in hand. 
Moon Knight, if targets at hand are Swarm Proxima or Apoc, remember Moon Knight now only hits even cards and it also disrupts your opponent's deck. I love the new Moon Knight. New Moon Knight is so much fun. Very, very good buff from second dinner. Turn four, you're either going to Dracula or Gwenpool. Turn five, Modok. I'm just going to go back to the Gwenpool. Gwenpool is really good in this list because it, your opponent doesn't know where that extra power is going into your hand. So it makes it really, really hard for them to try and figure out just how tall you're going to go on your last turn. Turn six, play all cards. So only card left uh, is Apoc, so Drac can hit. Or just play your Apoc alone. Uh, so after stream team, stick around for an awesome Dexter man thing deck. Again, this is S rank discard from Tucker and Chase. This one runs Meek, Blade, Morbius, Swarm, Colleen Wing, Moon Knight, Lady Sif, Dracula, Gwenpool, Proxima, Midnight, Modok, and Apocalypse. The stream team. Uh, this one, I'm a part of the stream team. So I, very good things to say. Power on Gaming join us, joins us in presenting. And look at this. We got seven more streams and videos every week. Monday is myself, Gregor2424, at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesday is Prashan, same time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday, Gaming with Flash X, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thursday is Perry Manilo, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday is Tucker. And that is 9 to 10 p.m. or 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday, Fawthor Newman, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Sunday is the King of Canada, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And each will release a video of their gameplay the next day. It's wonderful. So come check out some of our content. We love showing off these wonderful decks from Glazer, a.k.a. Snap Judgments. All right, next up, we have Howard's Man-Thing. This list comes from Dexter. This list runs Howard the Duck, Ravona Renslayer, U.S. Agent, Mystique, Magic, Luke Cage, Mobius and Mobius, Speed, Iron Lad, Man-Thing, Iron Man, and Spectrum. I am a sucker for any deck that runs Howard the Duck, so I was all in there. So the replacements, y'all go check out Dexter at www.twitch. TV forward slash Dexter. So for US Agent, you could do White Widow, Quake, or Jeff. All great options. For Speed, you could do Jean Grey or Glad. For Iron Lad, you could do Gwenpool. This deck does need Magic. It does need Man Thing. It does need Iron Man. And it does need Spectrum. The, the card, not the internet. Turn by turn snapping. On turn one, you're going to play Howard if you have Howard. On two, you're going to either... Go Ravona or US Agent, preferably Ravona. Turn three, you're going to go Magic, uh, or you could do Mobius or Speed or Luke Cage. I say Magic is the most important one. Then Mobius, because a lot of cards do, uh, a lot of opponents play cost reduction cards. Then Speed. The nice thing about Speed is Speed is ongoing, so you can play him at any point. And then Luke Cage at the end, you want to keep Luke Cage a secret. Keep Luke Cage a secret, keep him safe. Turn four, you're going to Iron Lad. Remember to check Howard. That is why we have Howard in this deck, is so we can see what Iron Lad's going to hit. Or you can play Man Thing. Turn five, you're going to Iron Man or US Agent and a three cost card. So you can do a little bit of mixing and mass matching. Turn six, you're going to play Spectrum. Or if you have a turn seven, preferably you have that turn seven, either a four and a two or a two and a three cost. So you're playing on curve. And then on turn seven, you're going to Spectrum, buff up all those other cards that are ongoing, and you win the game, hopefully. Again, this list runs Howard the Duck, Ravona Renslayer, U.S. Agent, Mystique, Magic, Luke Cage, Mobius M. Mobius, Speed, Iron Lad, Man-Thing, Iron Man, and Spectrum. We can review Speed. Series 5, 6,000 tokens, ongoing. Plus one power for each turn in which you spent all of your energy. He's a boring but strong card. Can easily push seven to nine power. He, he's better than I thought he was going to be. But again, he's, he's pretty boring. Just like well, plus one power for every time you spend all of your, all of your energy. But I like him. He's a good time. Um, I don't know. I think Wiccan's a little bit better than him just because of the extra energy that you get with the 4-7. But again, he, he plays pretty well in a lot of different decks. He's pretty easy 
to hit his activate condition. Uh, yeah, solid card all around. I'm, I wouldn't say go out of your way to spend tokens on him. So, next up, we have another fantastic list. This one comes from KM Best. I love KM Best brews. They are always mwah, chef's kiss. So this list runs Kitty Pride, Maria Hill, Nico Minoru, Thena, Angela, Hawkeye, Cassandra Nova, Speed, Loki, Wiccan, Ultron, Ultron, and Elioth. Really, the Maria Hill is kind of a genius play because it guarantees that you get a two-cost card, making sure that you have so many ways that you can hit your curve perfectly. Like, you have three different two-cost cards. You have three different one-cost cards. Kitty Pride ends up going back into your hand. And you're pretty much sure to hit the line. Also, Loki puts in work in this list. Loki's still very, very solid. So y'all go check out KM Best at www.twitch.tv forward slash KM Best MS. So if you don't have Nico Minoru, I would go with Nebula. If you don't have Thena, I would go with White Widow or Cable. Uh, if you don't have Kate Bishop's Hawkeye, I would go with Mirage. If you don't have Cassandra Nova, I would go Copycat, Nocturne, Red Guardian, Gladder, Black Widow, all solid options. And then Speed, Loki, and Wiccan are needed in this list, I would say. I would say the list is primarily built around Speed, Wiccan, and kind of Loki. Turn by turn snapping. Turn one, you're going to play Maria Hill or Nico Minoru. Turn two, you are going to play either Angela or Hawkeye Kate Bishop. Uh, also, I should say turn one, you could also Kitty Pride. You could also Kitty Pride there. There's no harm in doing that. Turn three, you do either Athena, uh, Kitty. Uh, yeah, turn three, it's Athena and Kitty Pride. Or you do Loki, or you do Speed, unless opponent has Arashem, and then you Cassandra Nova, because you get great value from that. Turn four, Wiccan. If Wiccan on curve, snap or a three and a one cost combo. Because if you can get Wiccan off, you can just outvalue your opponent. Turn five, if Wiccan works with what you have on curve, you can play Wiccan on five and then another one cost. Turn six, you're either going to Ultron or Elioth. The number of times that I stopped annoying Sandman uh, Ultron decks was so, it was great. It happened multiple times last night. I just Elioth where I know they're going to Ultron and I win. Great deck, good fun, give it a try. Once again, it runs Kitty Pride, Maria Hill, Nika Minoru, Thena, Angela, Hawkeye, Cassandra Nova, Speed, Loki, Wiccan, Ultron, and Elioth. Next up, we have Thanos Move from Boot. I, I don't know how to say it. Booty? I hope I'm saying the name right. But this one looks really interesting. I haven't actually had a chance to play this one yet, but I saw it and I'm like, ooh, this looks super interesting. I love decks that are, are a little bit different or off meta. So this deck runs Nightcrawler, Jeff, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Marvel Boy, Storm, Speed, Nocturne, Shang-Chi, Gwenpool, Professor X, Mockingbird, and Thanos. Uh, I, it looks like I forgot to update this slide here. So do, the, do it as you need to do it. Yeah, I forgot to update here. But I believe I do. Yeah, I did do the turn my turn stamping here. Uh, so turn one, you're going to do stones or nightcrawler turn two, you're going to do Jeff or Hawkeye, Kate Bishop turn three, you're going to do speed storm nocturne. Remember that Thanos can move wherever with the space stone. That is part of the reason storm is in this list. Turn four, Gwenpool or Marvel boy and stone of your choice. Turn five, professor X or mockingbird. You may be able to use mockingbird a little bit earlier. Turn six, Thanos or Shang-Chi and the rest of your curve. Really, the whole idea here is that you can lock down lanes and, and you can use both Jeff and Thanos to move wherever you need to move them. So again, this list runs Nightcrawler, Jeff, Hawkeye, Marvel Boy, Storm, Speed, Nocturne, Shang-Chi, Gwenpool, Professor X, Mockingbird, and Thanos. Check out patreon.com forward slash snap judgments. Patreon thanks. Abigail Geeslin, Mandatory Burnout, Cables, we love Cables, Matt H, Irregardless, David G. Wingfield, Direwolf, uh, LAB, Fawthor Newman, Good Dog Gamer, Deus Volt, Inc., I Am Frostman, Jay Navarrete, Corwin, Primed Ryan, Keratix Lee, Coyer, Pyro Foros, 
The Goat Seeker, Denman Falcon, Quid Pro Joe, Docty, Fat Nick, Ginger Prime, Philip Ratkovic, Haplo, Kenny Loggins, Rob Silverman, The BZA, X Force V, Skippy G, Tommy Nyquist, King of Bros, Black Dahlia, The Great Kazoo, Jessica Gamble, Ryan Wood, Kev Sihoto, Kev Sihota, Luna Chris, Quantum Quinn, John Q, Clam, Eight Sage, Motels, Darth Tater, Rima Saitala, Brian Kaufman, Tristan H. Martin, Jason B., JD McDonald, McDonald Inho, Fuzzy Dunlap, Spectrumix, Hoot, Matt H., Mikey Hijinks, No Flex, Ocular, Ocularis, Craig Sterry, Seamus, Spike Jones, Two Ties, Lauren Wadez, Tucker, Min Naguyan, and Gunny T. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Closing time. Final thoughts. Uh, so these lists are very fun. You should give them a go. Uh, yeah, just solid lists. Remember to subscribe, y'all. Patreon.com forward slash snap judgments. And check out uh, the video on official Marvel Snap YouTube.